top-rated player in that map win right there. <laughs> you know, everybody from Vitality was contributing. Now, they do get the T side. They do love some of these snowball-y plays, as Maniac was talking about here. So one cross smoke. <laughs> What's that about? It's a massive void. That's what that is. Ah, you just flash for the next one. Okay, that's perfect. And the lobby hold from Shox is being tested. He's actually got a partner for this. Apex is there too. Three down the lower. Oh. And damn, Kyojin drive-by. Just holding his gun sideways, swings open the door. And speaking of doors, Apex Ooh, for a top side pincer. Yep, perfect. A nice one from Valder. He will be humbled immediately. And that should be the end of that. You've got the kit on Alexi as per usual. They'll have a flash perhaps from the Heaven retake, but I rarely see this pay off, Chad. Oh, having a couple of flashbacks there as well. Keep our eyes on that vent rotate as this T-half continues here. Let's see how much they try and exploit it. But they're going to give the retake a go. The flash set up. I've never seen it work. You get one, jumping in, and looking good for a oh. second. Flames has done more than you could have asked of him, but Alexi, no health or armor. And 10 bullets, two heads required. Kyoshi's just not giving him anything, and yeah, he's accepting his fate. He'd rather keep hold of the kit. And that's the end of that. Zywood starting as he means to go on with the three-piece. There you go. He heard me. He heard me. He uh, realized these entire team showed up for the last one, so I think he's going to try he's and get, change a, get, the a, get a bag this time around, right? Get a, get a classic 30 for Zywood here. But for everybody playing at home, just to take a little bit of look as why Vitality potentially picked this map, the last three times that OG have played it, we'll start with the most recent against Complexity with a stand-in of NATO Sapphics. You would have seen that if you were paying attention to the group stage. It was a 16-12 win. But that's the end of the good news that I have to report here for OG and their nuke results. The next game was against Sinners, also in the Pro League. They lost that one 22-20. And uh, before that, to Renegades, uh, the IM Cologne play-ins where they were eliminated. So recent history for OG on nuke isn't the best of friends. Flames, however, in that Sinners game, had a really good game. Remember, he was winning a lot of one-on-ones. But here we go. Mantu's scout smoked off, vision obscured. Information is... I got no bloody idea what's on the other side of that smoke, guys. Yeah, uh, and the truth is, it's an entire team. Five members all congregate down the secret stairs, and it's nothing more than a jumping CZ-75. Standing between them and the site. Can't even jump anymore, mate. Cancel his plans, and now they can go wherever they want. Alexi B surely calling for aid. He does close the doors, drops the smoke. That should slow him down, it's nice. Flames is Degon. Degon, come on! Cut me some slack, thinks Alexi, as the bullets come through the door at the exact moment he's exposed to it. They have so many nades right now, Vitality. They can smoke and molly off ramp. They can molly in towards the dark spot. They can flash, and then they can go. So even just allowing OG to make their own pair, but into the door, Alexi goes. Shocks with the Glock, gets it done. And, well, now the dominoes do start to tumble here. Oh, on the reload, and he has time to whip out the Glock. Tried to be cheeky about it, didn't he, there? Well, Alexi trying to make some out of nothing, but you can see that Util I was just talking about, smoked off towards one right at the side of ramp, the Molotov on the other. They have more utility to keep those choke points denied for the CTs here, and OG hanging out in secret. It's going to be Valder and Nico. Just seeing if they can grab anything here. A rifle, a Galil, or an AK would be pretty tasty. Kyojin's actually going to give them something here. Tagged up for the swing from Volda. It is late. He does get the kills. I was there to trade, so crisis averted. They will defend that Galil. They make sure it can't be picked on up Apex here. Apex is dead. Yeah, He's going to have to hurry up if he wants to run into Nico's D. It's safe here. I guess his teammates have basically bodyguarded him to the safest of corners. Maybe he's cool. And he's cool. Has a bloody cucumber there. More than far away. Who's refrigerating their cucumbers? It's a question that, as old as time. As someone who used to work in the produce department at Woolworths in Dog Swamp, yes. as uh, the 2IC, I'd say get your bloody cucumbers in the fridge, guys. Yeah. They'll stay better for longer. Absolutely. And this is the Glock we were just talking about. He's even got time to close the door just to ensure there's no potential trade. Lexi feeling a bit hard done by after that one. And so, Vitality, it is the dream start. It doesn't get better than this. And this round should be the third. Yeah, if they do the smoke wall again, right, and you see Mansu, who is once again in quite a passive position with the scout, he can see the smokes, that's great, but th that's about it. So it's, it's going to be a car crash towards main. Apex ahead of it, catches Alexi B off again, and a scout bullet will land. So Apex kept somewhat honest, down to 12 points of health. They'd love a ramp progress. Yeah, you really would right now. I don't know if they've done enough to 
corral them like sheep and oh less now as Zaiwu is starting to hit every shot the Sousa he's been hung out to dry there they can just back on off he's called at least two yeah that's a no from me straight out of there even dropping a Molotov to signify their departure and they are on the way to the top side in fact they're in no CTs to receive them not a single touch of friction or resistance and these rounds have just dribbled away Damage again. Only real solace that OG are trying to take from this one here. An AK, just keeping the T's economy humbled. Great shot from Valda. How much more can they do? Spam Mazai was good. Knows there's another. Just swats them away here. Should have this one dead to rights. Flames just been a little bit cheeky here with a bit of spam through the walls. And there you go. Zaiwu doesn't get flustered. Even has a good idea where Nico is coming on through the smoke shops. We'll see the feet. Well, let's spam him. Yeah. Oh dear, all right. Uh, didn't, didn't land that one, but it's okay. Zaiwu did. Eight for him now. Oh, Lord. He's coming, isn't he? We saw Zaiwu with three on the pistol. He still has not gone down. Who will be the first to neutralize that Zaiwu threat? Now, I, I just want to remind everybody of what we saw on that pistol round, right? Straight down towards lower and then back up the vent to top. You know, that's giving me some flashbacks to OG games where that vent rotation has been punished, right? Uh, if you rotate in, in a lot of different ways, you can go down the ramp, you know, you can go down secret behind. If you're leaving that vent point of contention open for the T's to fly back up, you might have some real problems here. But Shox is being aggressed upon. Alexi in towards Oh, it's secret. quick. It's so quick. Nico just getting a fresh mag and they've all slipped down, down the, the vent. vent. Flames has got such a powerful position though. If he can activate at the right time, he's been found. I was the first and that's the only one he'll be posting. Quick on the rotate here though. I mean, Apex is still on silo. So it's essentially just two players to contend with and to contest that defuse, they've both opted window side. He's got so much util. Does he have a kit? No, Nico equipped. And they're still on that top side. Apex keeping some serious players busy. That's the frag they were waiting for. Now they have to surge into the site. Both grouped up on windows. Need one from Valde here, and he's posted it. So Masuta asks for the impossible. But that defuse is getting further and further away just in the nick of time they come in. Wow. Yep, by a Nat's wing. That's one. OG, retake that lower site. Oh, all right, well, close. Close indeed, and they will get that AWP back in their hands for Mantu. So, a good round, all things considered. Flames responding to that immediately, right? The fact that that vent drop was open, he just completely forgot about ramp, dropped towards the lower side. Masuda made this interesting. He made it very, very interesting here. He puts up a little bit more of a tussle. Maybe that one falls for the French, but they have enough money to buy, right? Zaiwu just there was the last to purchase. He had around nine grand. So, so that's 3.9, 4K-ish left in that bank balance. OG, we know they've had a hard time with the consecutive rounds. Let's see if it can start here. Oh, great flash. You can see that from Flames has actually enabled him to do significant damage into Masuta on Trophy. Keeps them very honest. He does like that play, right? He goes aggressive, he drops that molly, he hangs around, and... Matt, thank you. That's what we want to see. The steady shots, right? The impact of Mantu. That's what he's in here for. Just grab him the, the gimmies. The kills that come his way. He doesn't have to hit the speckies, right? He doesn't need to hit the nonsense. Just the standard kills. And he set his team up with a 4v5 number advantage now as the smoke wall hits the deck. The L block in play. And Apex surging forward. Oh, flash. Perfect timing on the flash. You can see that was absolutely a well-oiled machine. They are catapulting into Flames' location. And he's out. Dipping out. Concedes it completely. And Vitality looked to be chasing him a little bit. Nipping at the heels. Uh, rotates in. Alexi's got a smoke for... His teammates to play around, and oh, it's looking good here. We need more from that FAMAS. Zywa should have him. And now a little bit of room to stretch their legs. They'd love a plant. Flash cocked on the door. He's trying to set himself up for success there. Valdo, nice and nerdy, but nothing to report. It's Nico that saves the day. Uh -oh. Well, Zywa do one better. He's been happening already, and they're yeah. both having to rotate up the vent here. It's a race. Looking for it already. Has been found, Nico. Duking out with Sai Wu. One tap is all it would take, but Nico's good for it. And now OG, that's enough to humble Vitality. We will get to see a closed gap. This should be the 3-3. I'm curious, though, what they do with Zaiwu's money right now, because they're going to wait for the loss bonus anyway, right? Next yeah. round, the 2400. So he can go for this hero AK, and this will keep it very, very interesting. But this is the shot we're talking about, right? Just quickly, jiggles out, jiggles back, 
dead. Important kill here from Nico. And then you can see Zaiwu starting to get the cogs whirring. He gets a little bit of space over towards ramp, straight up the ladder. Could have even really dipped in towards the site there, but wanting to level it up in a one-on-one -on -one before he does so. Now he's the only man with a rifle. Alexi B charging towards Yard. And as it cleared, super deep. So that's uh, not great info. Kyojin can immediately start to punish this. Yeah, and he will. He's alone, but he's unchecked. Apex up on the silo. And don't forget, Zaiwu equipped with the hero AK. He's looking to poke and prod at ramp. Oof. Is Kyojin just going to tuck in here? Mantu's all plus. Really testing flames, aren't they? Yeah, and he should be good for it. He's down very low. Mantu's been caught by the Kyojin Deeg outside on secret, so this could fall apart here for OG. I need something, Alexi. He takes Masuta down, but Zaiwu's AK's been spotted, and that's the chance. That's the bomb. Nico, another spotted, but Zaiwu scooped up the bomb and disappeared. He's heading ramp side. He's got loads of time to work with this one and confirms the ramp's still his. And he's lost his partner. Apex on that lobby. Gone. <laughs> We've seen this, right? Zaiwu yeah. with a similar scenario, a one on three. I, don't know. I fancy his chances more here. He does have a smoke as well, right? So if he was to smoke off Decon, he could get the bomb down. What are his priorities here, though? He just looks so calm. Like, is that a still image or is this man playing a 1v3? One by one, just procedurally visualizing where the fights could come from. Now, he has got 15 seconds. Chances are he'll fake. Doors closed as he hold it, and he is exposed to the door. And that's exactly what Flames needed to do. Calls the bluff, takes the chance. Not playing scared. We're hyper aware of how playing scared <laughs> can lead to. Yeah, you, you really felt the ramifications of that last night, didn't Dude, you? I just want to, yeah, I, I didn't tweet it because I was in so much disbelief, but like Maniac's tweet is exactly how I felt. Like. You, it's so hard not to empathize for Liquid. Oh, like, yeah. God, my heart broke a little bit, and I wasn't even playing. Yeah, th that's crushing, right? And you saw that immediately reflected in the overtime. I mean, like, yeah. It, it just saw I mean, it all over. I mean, as soon over. as I they saw that, out. it was over. Yeah. Yeah. I, if they could take, like, a, maybe a six-minute ta ta tactical pause, maybe they'd have had a chance. But, yeah. Wow. Counter-Strike can really humble you at times. Shocks is going for something cheeky here. Now, they don't choose to commit to that. Interesting. Alexi was flashed, but doesn't commit through the smoke wall, so shocks will be unchecked and unconfirmed. Apex is joining him, so they're going for a bit of a divide and conquer. He's always cheeky like this, Flames. He's quite aggressive around that ramp smoke, isn't he? So shocks towards lower, that is going to be noted off of that flash, and Apex is just around to catch anybody as a bit of a safety net, trying to flank shocks down, but he has a fight here. Molly will note that there is presence towards this lower site, so Flames, he could be susceptible to a duel. Zaiwu wants him. It's two of the sharpest guns in the Vitality Arsenal here. And already passing his first test, trying to manage the spray. Ramp is lost. Alexi to respond. And actually going further than you would expect. He wants to take a fight here on the two of them. What a jiggle from Kyojin. He's aware, and that's the trade necessary. Zaiwu's in. Problems on the rotate. They jump into the vents and into the mouth of shocks. He wants more. And Mantu's going to give it to him. Who, that's such a hard clear. They have to save. I, I don't know how they can go for this unless Nico gets this kill into shocks right now. Oh, he hasn't even looked. Thank God for Mantu. Ooh, timing saves them. Do they have a look? So I always got one HP. Could come down to Kyojin here. So I was just playing cat and mouse. Wants to hide this one out. Kyojin just hiding in plain sight on the stairs. I love that setup. Good find. And Kyojin one on one. He's done it all. He's required. Both of them drop, another for Vitality. It's three in total. And that is now four for the French. They're first into the gun rounds. I think that those type of rounds, and now I believe that is three of them, that Kyojin has had to salvage. Now, they don't look like lost rounds, but they're still kills that Kyojin has to convert, right? So this here almost turned into an absolute bear. That would have been wild. The round would have been done and dusted. But Kyojin instead has to win a one on two. Now, if you remember Mirage, he won two 1v1s. Uh, one was after Zywu had just gone down and one was... You know, it reminds me of Bit. It reminds sure. me of Misuta initially. And there's a lot of storylines like that. I'm intrigued to see how Kyojin does take to this because he's the only one that's directly plugging into a support role. Like, you're trying to replace the tank. It's strange, right? That they're, 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 they're bringing in somebody and trying to train them the way that they want to play that role. So 
there's quite a few positions you'll see with Kyojin uh, or Nuke CT side. He can be behind that bomb box, right? Or if you think of overpass, he likes to play in that jail position up on the fence. Uh, so th there's a lot of positions that you remember that RPK would play to, to quite success. So it, it's been good that he can copy that in a way. And uh, apparently in conversations with the coach at XTAS before joining the team, they were positions he played in the first place. So able to slot on in and do the role of RPK. But we need this from Vitality, right? If they're going to be our, one of our two grand finalists, to go up against Anavi or Heroic, it's great to see a, a Vitality with everybody playing well, right? Or at least everybody doing their job. This one here should just be a formality right now. Probing out the top side for Suta. We'll get that trade kill. Urgent's life was played on the line there, but all in all, it's no drama. So it is just these light upgrades to be mopped on up. Shocks here, just looking for the cleanup on aisle ramp. It's a much harder map as well for Mantu to get involved in, right? Now, he only has four kills to his name so far, and we're still in very early stages, so that's not a drama. But the CT side orb on Nuke, if you're being smoked and flashed off, like, picture perfectly what are you going to do if your team is losing vent control and yard control to secret and you're having to play a lot uh you're, and you're still rotating around as opposed to being put in a position and planted yeah that's a lot hard for right. us to win well i know you're not simple but how does simple do to get away with it then because i know that his ct side he plays the rotates with an orphan he's always finding impact yeah so uh, it, it's I, a lot of that is to do with the read that you're having of the rounds that are coming your way because simple you might just find him go straight down to secret right yeah. and i'm sure we'll see similar things with mantu coming out when he can finally get an orb in his hands which go. alexi's going to oblige right here but it's how well they're reading right do we want to send mantu down to deal with this right? do we want to send him for a ramp peak it's how they want to wield that awp and that kind of plays around that if he doesn't go for those kind of maneuvers a quick ramp a quick blah you end up finding yourself just smoked off staring at smoke walls and then forced to go 3v5 retake and save it's never fun in that perspective when caged like that by a solid T side and Vitality have definitely been posting a convincing one so far. This just looks like a default spread here out of Vitality, right? They want to see what type of buy they're up against once they can identify the MP9. Is there an AWP? How much utility have they already bled through? And here it is. So we're talking about one of these aggressive maneuvers. There's Mantu and there it is. They're put in a position to find a kill. Ahead of the smoke ball. Oh, and I don't think Shox has been spotted. Alexi could be booked here. Oh just under his nose and he's made a lovely loud sound cue shocks hunting well aware there's a timing here oh he knows there's no orb so he's going to push the issue towards heaven as well shocks this is a great move now nah, oh, alexi's caught him. out yeah with two hp to spare he's been found so now i've seen rounds like this fall apart for og flames playing a nice aggressive info ct's position tucking in i suppose given the man advantage but here it goes First is found, they're heading top site, and Heaven is unguarded. It's Nico's angle that could contest, but it's a headshot angle, and they're the ones oh, with the AKs. Famous. Yeah. Far from ideal. Falda, you better tuck in, bro. He's still sticking around. Multiple angles from above, they strike. Too much for Nico. And now Mantu and Flames. Oh, no. oh, God, it's fallen apart. Two versus four, and the two new boys. The anime profile picks, looking set for six. Flames trying to clutch up with an MP9. And good luck, have fun. The round the world maneuver coming in from Zai with the unexpected play. There's nothing he can... <gasps> oh, checked it for a second on the reload, but there's another falling into place for Vitality. Oh, dearie me. So I was going to grab that AWP. Going to get the AK buys back up here in the scoreline. Currently at six to three. This is real problem now for OG. This was a great little find here from Alexi around the cusp of the smokes. He didn't want to be hanging around in yard anymore. And you think at that point, after Mantu gets the opening top silo and Alexi B gets rid of the lurk, that it should be around one at that point. Right? The desk spoke about this on Mirage. There was a couple of 3v2 situations that went against OG that maybe, just maybe, they should have converted. The same conversation here. I really like the way uh, Misuta positioned himself on that as well. Won the heaven take by staying on the rafters and swinging wide. It just meant that the, his other two teammates dropping into the site weren't so scared or... Vulnerable to Nico. <sighs> Look at this crawl. They've done a bunch of these yard maneuvers, right? Down to secret silently, now around to heaven secretly, uh, silently. And uh, I, I don't like your position right now if you're man to. Sure, a you're hidden. I mean, yeah, a knife kill is probably his best bet. As there's not going to get much with the USB. Hello. And he has got the head, but yeah, Masuta's there to keep things level. 
I think level's a bit of an exa exaggeration. <laughs> I think Shock's had a bit of a heart attack after that one. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, now that they have heaven control, Ray, if you're the CTs, you want to push and find a straggler. And that straggler was Kyojin, and he's already making this one costly. There you go, he is him, and it's the CZ at range. Would have to be precise. Kyojin, well aware, grabs him another kill there. So great shooting out of Kyojin here, and now just Volda and Alexi B to find directly below. Uh, Masuda will get that one. So we'll call it seven. And uh, a lot of the oxygen really feels like it's leaving the room now for OG because at best they can get an 8-7 CT half of nuke, right? At best. And I haven't even felt that they've been crazy exploited right now. They've just been losing out in scenarios that they probably should have won. So yeah, it's hard to really make a case for this. I'd be very interested to see this form, this inform Vitality's nuke up against Nami's nuke. I'm intrigued to see how much they get away with, like, all of these yard plays. You know Electronic's going to be out yeah. there, right? Yeah, like, I mean, like, I don't think they'd get away with half of the things we've seen. But it's worked wonderfully. And not necessarily with a lot of resources pumped into it either. It's wild as well. The ramp has clearly been a pressure point for them, whether it's been early or late, right? Once they've forced that rotation, they've liked to go apply a bit of pressure towards Flames. And if he doesn't get the kills, he has to drop lower. It feels like they've negated him for the round, but there you go. I think that's the third opening for Mantu with the AWP. So here we go again. Flames, so much to do. And that's the end of him. Masuta hitting him with the Zatar SP. A chance for Nico goes awry and yeah, falling into place again for the French. This just feels like a groundhog day. Into the lower sight. Close, but no cigar. It's left Faldo staring at a smoke grenade. He won't be able to contest the plant. His teammates so far away. Like, they're just completely disconnected. And Vitality have the entire map to walk around. It's just crazy. They, they get the opening kill again, right? You should be set at that point to at least go one for one in the trade department. They're on out. Ah, they're locked out. More nades, more flashes. Do you know why, Chad? Because they didn't have to use much more than a flash and a smoke. No, and I, I think you think about the information that Apex gets in that moment. Okay, Mantu's committed to Warehouse, so he can't swing to fight from Hell. Uh, is that one of the reasons they go ramp? Are they going ramp because they're pressuring Flames? Right, we're talking about Kyojin as the rookie. I guess Flames, his name needs to come into that conversation as well, right? And it's not that Flames hasn't been getting kills. He has. He's got eight. Uh, sorry, six. But. Uh, when they come at him like that and he doesn't get anything, uh, the just chips just start to fall away here. So we'll call this half one. Eight now for Vitality. How They've much more? I don't know. This, this is this right now is uh, as framed in my mind is is OG not putting up much of a fight, but maybe just OG able to get the guns back out here. But well, what's man to meant to do? Find another opening and then lose another five v four. Let's see. Or a two v four. I mean, they've been losing those uh, two. That's right. All right, well, this is a bit of a slower pace round from Vitality here. No yard smokes. So they've Yo. seen the aggressive CT smoke come out, and they just want to make sure that nobody's home, right? Make sure there's no bugs in the system. Ramp player mix up. They've sent Mantu this time towards ramp, and it means Flames is playing that aggressive yard position. He's going for the hunt. Zai was posted up. Shox is there. A sound cue would go a long way. Oh, there it is. But Zaiwu reveals himself as well. Oh. And it's too easy for him. <laughs> I, I can't that? believe he's taken both. Oh, oh of course, of course. Yes, no, look, they're, they're taking damage. Yeah. They just won't die. Every button rush presses is a CT dinking a T and dying. Oh. I mean... Oh. Man yeah, two. Saved by the glass. Dead before he can even finish the jump. I wanted to, I was hoping we were past the Navi versus Ents type series. And I know that map one was nothing like that, right? But map two is starting to feel Let's very much like that. Bruh. What? Uh, <laughs> okay. But it. But the. So it was just the fact he got shot. Yeah. Yeah. And his wrist just instantly reacted before the M4A1 could pump one more bullet out. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yep. So it was as BS as we had assumed. Ah, oh dear. All right. This is going to hurt. Here we go. They've only got deagles. It's going to feel like absolute hell on earth conceding 10 T rounds on Nuke. Already 1 0 down. This is the semi final for OG, and it's been a, you know, a brilliant pro league up until this point. Top of your group.
sailing through into the playoffs. Literally undefeated. Literally <laughs> undefeated. They, you said they dropped three maps. Yeah, so now four, and out of the break, this has been the only tournament they've played in. So since they lost the Renegades in Cologne, they've been undefeated. Maybe, just maybe, we can get a breath of air into the team. Not to be, that was the chance. Alexi up close and personal, ready to spoil, but this one is just falling apart again. The bomb will be going down any moment here, just crossing the T's, dotting the I's, making sure there's no way back in. Vitality are getting things done. They've rocked up to work. They've had one goal. And they're getting there. This is, uh, yeah, really just feeling like a matter of time game. You hate these games. They're the least favorite. Because you, you just know, you know which way the results go. We would need some kind of a crazy OG comeback now to make this interesting at all. And uh, I, I, I can't paint you that story. I I'm wouldn't sorry. even put odds on that. Yeah. This is a this is a, a one-sided affair at its most extreme. Conceding ten really sours the mood, knowing that you've got a second half just with your back against the wall. Like they're setting a precedent now. You're going to have to do better than this on your attack, and I just don't see a universe where that's possible. This is just, you're being condemned in the first half of the second map of the semi-final. I think they, in this string of rounds, the seven rounds in a row that Vitality have been able to post, I think it's only 12 kills worth of resistance for OG over those seven rounds. So you guys do the maths. I'll leave it up to you at home, but not a huge amount of impact. And Look, the red button, it's been hit. The glass, it's been smashed. In case of emergency, bring out the double orbs. But guess what? You just rush top and away you go. Oh, that's nice damage. Just need to see them finish it off. OG have finally toppled the majority, leaving Apex. Throwing caution to the wind and all in manoeuvre. And finally, OG respond with the bullets in the right place. I don't even hate it, right? I know that they didn't know they were going up against double orbs, but maybe a good reason to start perfect, thinking yeah. that, right? So a top rush against double orbs. Imagine they get in, they trade out efficiently, both the orbs, one towards yard, one towards ramp. How are you going to retake that? Now, OG, four. Let's make it five. Let's make it five. Let's make it a pistol. Let's make it a first gunny. And then we've got a game. I don't want to ride them out, even though it's not feeling likely. You'd love a bit of resistance here, and everybody loves a comeback story. They're hunting for you, man, too, and on the re-peak, it's just too easy. A collection from Zaiwu. 17th frag posted, Unbreakable scouted, and zaiwu has got an AWP there, mate. So, yeah, drop the smoke. I'm not sure Alexi's out of there. Unscathed bullets, crosshairs, they're all on him. Flashes thrown towards him. He's lingering within the smoke. He's on a timer here. Oh, did Flame spot that? It's definitely been heard now. Oh. Alexi can't get anything done. 3v5 for round number 15. Well, you know Shox is in the warehouse. Flames adopting an angle that should enable him for a little bit of impact later into the piece if the walk up from Shox does come in. But he's happy to park the bus. Valder's secret as well. So top site wide open for business. And it may just be a matter of time before they stroll in. So many unanswered questions. Valder, you better deep clear that garage. Otherwise, you're in trouble. They're thinking about it, aren't they? Ah, there you go. Confirmation of their suspicion. Now catapulting into the Valder AK. He says play on. A fifth certainly wouldn't go amiss, and he's chosen to aggress his event dive as he averts his gaze. Masuta punishes and flames with an AWP of all weapons. Oh, they're coming back up. No, they're not. No, at least flames are going to be heading towards that ramp side. Bomb planted, Masuta hanging around. So he will technically have a 1v1, but he's biding <laughs> so much time. Spots him. That's a lot of info. An advantage now. And he will punish. Needs to pick up the pace. He's a bit cautious of anything quick, and Masuta can just set himself up for success. Decon, the perfect position. Deagle, definitely the better weapon for the job, but so much uncertainty. And as he's have a power surge in their monitors, 60 hertz, condemned to it. Otherwise, Alexi B and his cronies would have to put on quite the show. He's got the lineup, and smokes off main. 
Popping into the top side, and it will be in a retake situation for Vitality. Their ramp stack rumbled, and some shots through the smoke connecting. Oh, this feels too easy, doesn't it? So you can see the flash is being set up here by Shox. There's a smoke on Zywo as well in the kit. So oh, here we go. Here we go. Strap in, because the whole squad's in the sight. They're all here. Massacre for the Flames. Glock, Mantu contributes as well. And that's fallen flat as a pancake. It's so hard, I swear, Chad. I just... Even when it's 5v5 on that flash play, it just never seems to hit the money. There's always someone playing anti, and this time all five alive. That's a dream for OG to start this very, very difficult campaign back into Nuke. Yeah, I, I guess you're trying to hope you catch them sleeping, or there's only one guy looking at the heaven position, but Flames, he's not in a susceptible position by any means. The crossfire there, all of them just coming out of their hidey holes ready to fight. Now, we will see the Vitality Force buy. Keep in mind, Zywoo, with a little bit of extra cash money to his name, he's going to want to get that AWP out ASAP. OG, they'd want to keep this one clean. You want to start this second half off on the right foot. And they've thrown some yard smokes. Looks like they're pivoting now back towards this upper site for a bit of a pop. Now, this is a problem. Yeah, this could go really wrong. Flames, just as he pulls out the nade, the timing is perfect and my heart started to break. OG thought they had this one as a guarantee, that's what it's supposed to be, but it's so far from it, it's so quick. 12 is found, Apex in disbelief. And that's the quickest, the most short-lived OG comeback story I've ever had. They knew exactly what was happening, right? They knew exactly what was happening. As soon as those nades come through, Shox and Kyojin as the one bow combo are straight through hut. There's not even any time to react. The ramp push is there. All the positions are cleared. Oh. Alexi was the only member on the site and he was red faced, 12 to five. And I don't think they come today to jive. This one is looking almost done and dusted now. The force by attempt of their own. Apex saying no, no, no. And he'll give him a nade for good measure. Util just slightly chipping away here. Shocks. He's got a lot on his plate. There's the first and number two follows. One exception was Flames. Couldn't quite find the necessary bullets. And so we are running towards the finish line of our first series of the day. Oof, I just want to remind everybody what Vitality have gone through this year. They started the year at uh, the Blast Global Finals. They did all right. You know, they, they had a, uh, a medal place finish. But since then, it hasn't been going swimmingly. They uh, got rid of one of their veteran members of RPK. They uh, removed him from the squad and brought in a rookie of Kyojin, and they haven't been in the title conversation since, right? They haven't been a team that we've got. Well, we know they've got Zaiwu, yeah. but what else have they got now? They're showing some good Counter-Strike. They're about to absolutely destroy OG, who are down to this eco. They might be running away with this one nice and quick. 14, almost a guarantee. And they're just ready. They are just ready. The body's coming from every single direction. <laughs> Look at his face, bro. Honestly, they're having, they're having such a whale of a time in Vitality HQ right now. Just they can taste it. They can taste that grand final spot. You fancy yourself a little bit of simple versus Saiwoo action? I really do. That, right, is the final that we could really get stuck behind. Simple versus Zywoo is always an exciting affair. Yeah, but I mean, just in terms of wanting to see this informed Vitality versus that informed Na'Vi, they are the top five highest rated players of Brody. It's the Na'Vi team. Okay. Uh, electronic right. at the top. Simple was third. I believe it was actually like electronic, then bit, then simple in terms of the highest rated three. All right. Which, I mean, does spell trouble if simple's being outperformed by his other cool. cronies. They're rushing top here, Alex. Okay. Kyojin looking to finish things here. And he's got caught out. The bomb could go down and maybe, just maybe, Vitality are going to drop like flies. There's one on the rotate. Flames, I like the reposition. It's been found and... But it's just a bit shy of the mark, leaving us with only two. Uh, just quickly, everybody, have a quick look to the right-hand side of your screen. Zywoo has 8.8, .8, Apex has 7.5. Uh, the three in the grave also have enough cash to be able to buy in the next round. So there's no dramas for Vitality dropping one in a bonus-like scenario here. But what could be key is a couple of kills on the way out the door. Zywoo over towards T-Spawn with his Galil Apex just chilling out in that warehouse right now. I think he's hoping people come towards him. Well, they're going to want to be safe on the save, right? Because OG need every single penny, right? So they might actually filter back in his general direction here. And Apex is trying to send them packing that way. There's one. How many more can he get? Zywoo around the corner gets locked off by flames. And well, they keep four alive. 
So OG will be happy with that, and it was through a very similar strat as what they ran on Pistol. Rush top, right? Take that top site, get on in. It was just Kyojin on the site, right? He was on his lonesome. And uh, they're able to get their six rounds here, but I don't know how many more times Kyojin's going to be left on his lonesome. Uh, yeah, do you do that again? Do you, do you try your luck? And the only thing that's worked so far. So I was Orps out now as well, so let's see if he can find any impact with the big green. Straight up heaven. Uh, Zaiwu. Zaiwu's gone so aggressive. Flames doesn't even get to play the game. Of course you do. Take that hard fight. Uh, once upon a time, it was only JW doing those moves. Now, apparently, uh, it's just a done thing. They threw that cheeky molly as well, just to disguise the fact they were going for that play. And now, in a 5v4 disadvantage, OG, what can you do? They're tucked in, established. Every option dotted around Kyojin with another. It's a pair of frags, and just like that, Rush is struggling to keep up. The frags come so quick all over the map. The CT shut it down, and OG locked out. See this one again. That cheeky Molly, pay attention. You can see it actually just, just sounds exactly like Hut is Molotov fully. It's just in the corner of that door, so all of the implications leading to Flames not expecting something as quick as that. And now they've got nine chances, Chad, for the Grand Finals. Well, this is looking great now for Vitality. Uh, if it wasn't looking great before, I'm pretty sure it's been looking great this entire game. And Nuke, legs up, Alexi B runs away. Zywoo knows he's done the damage. You can hear that snapping turtle just chomping at the bit to get that frag, and he's ready to fight Yard. Zywoo's here, there, and everywhere. I've, I've seen the way he shoots through smokes, Chad. It's a little concerning. Well, he, he hasn't hit anyone. I think he heard the ticks of the molly there onto Nico because he was speaking a lot as starting to high hightail it back towards ramp. So Apex is already lower here. Does have the assistance of Masuta. So two players on the B bomb site. Vitality, I hate to say it, but they're ready to deal with this. It's been the case all game long. And look at their setup. It doesn't get much better than this. Oh, there's three of them behind that single door as well. They just have to sit and wait. Unless you open the door, throw out the smoke, and try and plant. Apex could spray it down. And Masuta's been found. Apex is the unchecked variable. And Zaiwu still providing some support. Flame should have one here. Needs to have one here, and he does. A three-on-three -three established for survival for OG here. Shot closing the gap fast. Needed that. Nico and Mantu combine. And it leaves Zaiwu in a 1v3. Flames trying to finish it right here and now. He's on his own and will achieve it. And just eight more opportunities now for Oof. Vitality. Okay, there we go. Spotty. But that's the way that OG have done things here today, apparently. I, ju I just find it extremely hard to see a comeback here because if we were to tell that story, they'd have to win this one now. They'd have to break Vitality, right? In the next round of play, they'd only get 1,900 as the loss bonus. That's not going to be enough for a buy. That can get them up to nine rounds. Uh, and then from there, we can start painting the picture into the double digits. But getting past this one compulsory, if that conversation wants to go ahead. Deep nade there from Zywu. Chunk straight down the gullet there of Nico. He's ready for it. Quick as you like. He peeks into him. Yeah. Brutal. Zywu, another opener. And Apex actually spurred into the fight. Goes aggressive. Being hunted now in the elevated position of Flames. Good for one. Can't get away safe. He's got two. Do, do you keep going yard? Do you, you, do you really press the issue out here? Because the smokes are down. He is smoked off. He will be forced elsewhere. But it is a three on four situation. And Nico, remember, he's so low. His reaction's perfect, dude. He's going to go and be responsible for the low site. I thought he'd crawl towards lobby, but just going to back up that top site defense. They are ahead of it, and that was a necessary one. Kyojin pulls Vitality closer to finishing this one out. And it really has just petered out into nothingness. A very methodical win and conversion here from Vitality for the grand final. Zaiwu, high flash for the repeat. Shocks. Bides his time, ready to strike. That's something, but here's the finish. Oh, it's...